Joining me now is The Wall Street Journal's international chief digital editor, Grania McCarthy. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. You must all be exhausted, emotionally and physically. Ex but and just... Exhausted and exhilarated. And thank yeah. you, Andrea. And thank you for all of your support throughout this ordeal, these long 16 months. Oh, my gosh. It's been so, so absorbing, his heroism, his incredible work, and his parents, getting to know his parents. I want to talk about this amazing story in the journal. I don't know how you pulled it together. Um, it reads like a spy novel, as he said. We're learning about the role that Ella Millman played. I mean, she was the first, maybe the first, to start zeroing in on Krasikov and what he could mean and relentlessly pursuing that with everybody in the government and in Germany. Yeah, I mean, this story is incredible, and I need to give full credit to the, the team of reporters on this story who have been really rele relentless in um, covering Evan's story ever since he was arrested six, nearly 16 months ago. Um, and some of the detail, I mean, a lot of the detail that emerged um, when we published that story yesterday is emerging only now for the first time, including to many, many people in the newsroom. Um, and what, what we, you know, you've met Ella, you've interviewed her, um, we've gotten to know her um, over this time, and she, it, it was very clear to me early on that she was formidable. And we would often talk about her as being such a great reporter, and it's something that's actually quoted um, in the story. Um, you, you could sort of tell where Evan gets his great reporting skills from. But, you know, she there's just gripping detail in there, and I do encourage people to read it, on how she sort of identified the, the potential paths and at times those paths sort of evaporated and she picked right back up. And I remember going to see her and, and, and her husband, Mikhail, and their incredible daughter, Danielle, in Philadelphia um, last year. And she was out walking in one of the parks in the center of the city. And um, she was on the phone at the time to one of the lawyers. And um, I know she spent a lot of her time out kind of walking around and just kind of constantly pacing. And uh, you know, it just became clear to me that this was someone who would leave no stone unturned and would go to the ends of the earth. But, like, what's incredible is is really how central she was to this deal actually happening. I was really struck by something that she submitted herself to on one of her jail or courtroom visits where she got to see her son, she and Mikhail, and that she submitted herself to an interrogation, hours of interrogation, by his Russian interrogator, a really brutal character. And... Mikhail was waiting and waiting and didn't know if she was going to emerge or if she'd be another prisoner to try to advocate for her son and explain, as a mom only could, that he's not a spy. Yeah, and, uh, you know, obviously these are questions that you hopefully will get to pose to Ella herself at some point. Um, but, you know, I think she made a decision early on that she needed to have all of the information, and that in involved speaking to everybody that she could speak to. And... You know, he's her son and, you know, every day she did whatever she could for him. So, I mean, it, it's just it's just thrilling and striking. And those times that they went to Russia, that was not without risk for them personally. And, you know, some of the story we were all able to see kind of in the public eye, like those very touching images at that time of them standing next to Evan in the courtroom in Russia when he was in the glass cage. And she said afterwards she couldn't even remember what he said. Her heart was bursting so much. But behind the scenes, there was a lot more unfolding. And that's what really comes through in this story. Um, I mean, she's just got made of iron in some ways. I remember being in, in the fall at the Atlantic Council dinner at the UN meetings when she went up to Chancellor Schultz to press him to give up Krasikov, you know, help me get, get my son home. Um, what can you tell us about the document, this clemency request, where Evan, ever the reporter, asked Putin for an interview? I mean, that detail. Everyone's talking about it. I think, uh, you know, Der Spiegel, I believe, or some other publication in Germany has literally done a whole story on the anecdote, uh, which is at the end of our of our, our gripping story. And um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to give it away for those of you who haven't read it yet. Um, one of the last formalities that Evan had to go through before leaving Russia, um, and he was allowed to leave Russia with, with papers that he had written and some letters and other things that he had written um, while in prison. But he had to sign this um, presidential clemency piece of paper. So essentially, you're given a blank piece of paper. And apparently, in many cases, the, the, the person who is departing would literally just sign their name. Um, 
But Evan, being Evan, he filled the entire page um, with what he had to write and say to President Putin. And at the end of it, he submitted a proposal of his own. After his release, would Putin be willing to sit down for an interview? I mean, everyone is just buzzing about it because it just speaks to Evan and who he is. Let me just explain. His parents are Russian emigres, Russian Jewish emigres. Uh, she had her own heritage coming out of the World War II, her, her parents. And the fact that they came here and she gave both of her children Russian names. He's Vanya at home. He learned chess. He was raised in that family, you know, the cabbage soups and all the rest. So she had so much identification with Russia as he did, and he's fluent in Russia. It's just the whole story is amazing. And you didn't spoil any ending because it, it's so gripping. I could read it over and over again. And yeah. I mean, every 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 publisher should be blessed with the teams you have and with the digital editor that you are. Oh, Grania McCarthy, there was, there I want was, to meet you in person. Thank, likewise, Andrea. Listen, thank you so much, and thank you for all of the support. And our hearts are just bursting today for Evan and his family, and all journalists are as well. Thank you so very much.